On November 3rd, CalHFA has announced changes to its Extra Credit Teacher Home Purchase Program, also known as ECTP. The changes allow more K-12 public school employees, including administrators and support staff such as aides, bus drivers, food service workers, and janitors to receive as much as $15,000 in down payment assistance, so it's really improved. The program includes educators at public charter schools, school district, offices, and county continuation schools. The ECTP program helps with the down payment and opens the door for more teachers to become homeowners. Under this program, public school employees in California's 35 high-cost counties including Sacramento, Placer, and El Dorado counties could qualify for the maximum of $15,000 or 3.5% of the sales price or appraised value, whichever is greater. The maximum home price is $430,000 in those counties. Educators must meet county-by-county -county income limits for the program, which are based on the number of people living in a home, but they're very good. So, for example, the income limits for a family of four using a Cal HFA FHA loan, first mortgage, are $90,700 in Los Angeles County, $150,750 in San Mateo County, and 106,500 in Sacramento County. So we're actually better than Los Angeles County. The down payment assistance is in the form of a junior loan. Homeowners are not required to pay back the loan until the home is refinanced or sold or the mortgage is paid off. Cal HFA offers additional programs that help with the closing costs and can be combined with the extra credit teacher program ECTP, making home ownership even more attainable. It's a great time to be able to take advantage. If you know of teachers that would like to purchase, this is a great program to get into their first home. Combined with other down payment assistance programs, home ownership becomes a real possibility for a lot of people that didn't know it was. And now, for minding your own business. Hey, it's that time of year again. You're gonna be working on your marketing plan for the next year, and the theme for your marketing plan should be targeted marketing or segmented marketing. So, why do we do that? Marketing to baby boomers, Gen Y or Gen X means different strategies and different methodologies, because they're all different. So take a look at your database, make sure you have a way to segment them into generations such as their date of births. You probably do if you're sending birthday cards, so now you can do targeted marketing. Go check out videos on how to market to baby boomers and how to market to millennials. It's different. Once you have your segmented lists, create a marketing plan based on your demographic. Blogging is great for both because they love content, but offline mailings and video tactics are a little bit different. So social media is also a must do, but again, depending on the demographic you're marketing to, it's a diverse strategy. Targeted marketing is essential, and if you aren't on Facebook and doing mailings, you're invisible to baby boomers. They're not gonna see you. If you aren't on Twitter and Instagram or doing video, you're invisible to millennials, and they love video. And if you aren't getting any SEO or Google juice, you're invisible to everyone, and that's terrible, being an undercover realtor. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for joining and watching us, and see you next week. Have a great day.